Why did you feel you need to tell this personal story? What, why was it so important to you? Because I knew that I needed to uh, learn how to forgive. <laughs> that's that's basically as uh, as simple as it as it uh, as it as can be, really. Because like my, uh, I, I think for the majority of my adult life, I've harbored lots of like really mean, unfair feelings against my brother. And it's really only been, I think, really actually, it's, it's kind of timed up perfectly with the making of this film because now, like for instance, before the movie, uh, we rarely ever talked. And I probably saw my brother maybe like once a year maybe maybe and that was on holidays and that was just for the free food it's all it was for and uh and i i knew that i wanted to try to forgive him and i wanted to also try to forgive myself for not forgiving him it's like this weird inception like mind trick but basically i uh, i came out of film school and i was like i really want to make a feature uh what's the most potent topic i can make a feature about in my life and I tried to write, I, I wrote all these other scripts, but I realized I was mostly running away from wanting to talk about my brother. And so uh, the whole thing was originally designed because like what I wanted to happen, and this would have been so great, it was, I, I get a kick out of it, but uh, what, what was supposed to happen is I was gonna write a script and I was gonna play myself in the script and my brother was gonna play himself. And because I wrote it, I could make him say things to me and I could say things to him. And together, throughout this process, we could learn to forgive each other and hopefully maybe salvage a little bit of a, of a relationship out of it. That was, the, that was the whole point. And what was, what was crazy is almost like down to the, to the, to the day, uh, like I started writing the script and I was talking to my brother and my brother and I, for the first time, started talking about things. I would ask him, like, hey, so why did you used to do that growing up? Or why were you never here? What, what were you doing? And he kind of opened up to me, and he would start telling me these things. And I would take those things and uh, kind of craft them into a character, into the script, and things like that. And, and throughout the writing process, we talked more than we had ever talked before. And almost like clockwork, the day that I finished the script, I, I picked up the phone to call him, and his number was disconnected. And I was like, what's going on? And so I called my mom and my mom was like, oh, you haven't heard? Uh, he went on the run from the police. And so he just disappeared. And so I was like, oh man, okay, wow. And it was weird because I kind of knew it would happen. Like I, I knew that us talking consistently wasn't something that was probably gonna continue to happen at this point in our, in our relationship. And before I knew it, uh, he was gone. And so we went and made the movie uh, kind of in a more, I don't wanna say legit, because it's like extremely micro budget, but, uh, but um, we you know, hired actors and like suddenly it was gonna be a thing. And before that, it was just gonna be basically me and him and like a DP, and that's it. That's what, that was what the whole thing was designed to do. And uh, what was wild though is like uh, after we finished, it was almost like, it was almost like we almost synced up in this weird way. Like we weren't in, in connection, but like when when our movie got into post-production, like at one point all of our financing fell through. And so I was doing post just by myself. It was like me and one of my friends doing post. And so the movie like, you know, went to a crawl. And while that happened, like the, while that happened, like I found out my brother was, he, he'd gotten caught and he went to prison. And so it's weird because I felt like I was trapped in post when my brother was trapped in prison. <laughs> that's, that's what it felt like. And then the craziest thing happened. Um, at one point, uh, like the financial, the financial end got taken care of in terms of post and then suddenly things sped up again. And around that time, my brother got released early from prison on a work release program. And so he basically got out of prison and then he was sort of in this sort of incubating period where all he had to do was, uh, was uh, he had to get a job and he had to report to uh, certain uh, parole officers and things like that. And so like, we, I finished the movie almost exactly around the time he got out of, out of prison. And what was fascinating is like, because he had gone through this really rough experience and I had gone through a creatively rough experience, 
we both kind of met up again and like our relationship kind of picked up right right where it left off and it was beautiful and he saw the movie and he saw himself in the movie and saw how i felt about him in the movie and like we cried about it and like and since then this is like what seven months later we text every day we call each other every other day and we talk frequently and my brother now uh like he's completely turned his life around he's got a he's got a great job and you know he's being a father to his children and it's a beautiful thing and i i really do think that that our whole family coming together to tell the story of uh, that is my feature then there was joe i think that truly healed my family and i can i can say that unequivocally like i mean it totally brought my family together in a beautiful way and so I, I do know at least the power of movies to at least heal my family. And that's a real thing. And that was a very uh, beautiful thing that I don't think could have been planned. It just happened sort of serendipitously. And it was beautiful. And so I do know like firsthand that that's why I tell stories. I tell them to heal. I know you, you said you screened the film at the Arkansas Cinema Society, mm -hmm. and was your brother there? He was. It was amazing because it, we weren't sure if he was going to be able to, to make it. He actually had to get like, you know, permission to actually show up and do it. But he was there, he was in the second row, and uh, that, it wasn't the first time he had seen it because we, uh, we watched it together before that. But, he was there and it was it was amazing because he was laughing almost harder than anyone else was laughing in the movie <laughs> which was great and then afterwards like it was amazing because the ray grady who's the actor that plays my brother who was phenomenal in the movie got to meet my actual brother and it was an amazing experience seeing both of them together because like i cast ray grady because the essence of Ray Grady reminded me more of my brother than any other human being I'd ever met in my whole life. And so to see both of them together was mind blowing. It was awesome. It was incredible. And uh, they were like kindred spirits. They were like joking and, and like they had always been friends. It was amazing. It was a really cool experience.